right, let's talk Ozempic. So I had a call with someone that wanted to join our Fit Vegan Blueprint program. And in the conversation, it came up that he was taking a drug that was similar to Ozempic, basically to help with the weight loss. And he was spending like over $700 a month on that drug. And when it came down at the end to join a program and learn about the investment, which was a fraction of the cost that what he was paying for the drug, he was like, no, I can't do this. It's too expensive. And I was like, well, you're spending $700 on the drug. The whole goal is to get you off of that drug so that you can actually build the habits necessary for you to be able to stay healthy and fit without having to rely on a $700 drug per month. Can't do anything but respect their choice. But here's what I want to say to those of you that are considering taking these types of drugs or on these types of drugs. They are a short-term solution. I saw this article where there was a shortage of it and people were freaking out and willing to drive like five plus hours or something to try to find these drugs so that they continue their, their weight loss journey. It's a lot better for you in the long term and from a health standpoint to develop those healthy habits of you know going to the gym and exercising and moving your body or even doing it at home or making the right decision when you're nutrition. This pill, eventually they can jack up the cost. It can go out of business. You may not be able to find it. And guess what's going to happen when you stop? You're going to be hungry and you don't have a set of healthy habits to prevent you from going the opposite direction and putting all the weight back on after. So it's a lot better. You take matters into your own hands, commit to your transformation, commit to your long-term health and your journey. And that's what's actually going to be sustainable for you, right? So that's my little piece of opinion on those drugs.